Hello, I'm Janet Lippitt and I'm the Chief Medical Officer at the Royal Berkshire NHS Foundation Trust. And Healthcare Scientist Week gives me a brilliant opportunity to tell you something about the role of science in healthcare and also some of the fantastic work that our healthcare scientists do in the Trust here. When you watch Holby City or see the NHS on the TV, they invariably focus on the doctors and nurses. But we've got many more professions in the Trust and in particular our healthcare scientists. So modern medicine is founded on science, evaluating techniques and constantly improving through learning, developing and innovating. As you explore our services and departments, you'll find healthcare scientists all around. Some of them have frontline patient contact, working with patients in cardiology, in audiology and nuclear physics. Whether they're checking that pacemakers are working for our cardiology patients or making sure that our cancer patients have safe and effective radiotherapy delivered. They really are everywhere. And this last year in particular with COVID, during the pandemic, we've come to rely on them even more. Whether they're servicing our ventilators for use in the intensive care unit or repurposing equipment to deliver high flow oxygen to our critically ill patients, they really are our unsung COVID heroes. My name is David Cook and I'm the lead healthcare scientist here at the Royal Berkshire Hospital in Reading. My role involves informing patients and the public about healthcare science. In this short film for Science Week, we'll introduce you to some of the amazing contributions that scientists make here at the Royal Berkshire Hospital and tell you how you can become a healthcare scientist. At the Royal Berks Hospital, we have many scientists working in healthcare, for example in fields such as audiological science, where scientists are taking measurements and doing calibrations in anechoic chambers. Physiological scientists in cardiology undertake measurements such as ECGs using echocardiograms and interpreting data to present to cardiologists to help with diagnosis of cardiac conditions. Respiratory physiologists are scientists who work directly with patients to deliver complex diagnostic tests of the respiratory system as well as monitoring and treatment of lung disease. A range of conditions can be seen from asthma to COPD and pathologies that lead to respiratory failure, seeing patients in lung function labs, wards, outpatient clinics and even at home. During the coronavirus pandemic, our respiratory scientists have been centre stage in repurposing equipment and wards to provide non-invasive support to hundreds of patients. This involves working with clinical engineers, doctors, nurses and physiotherapists to adapt and redesign breathing circuits and systems to support patients and avoid the need to go into intensive care. The greatest number of scientists work in medical physics and clinical engineering. Many physicists work with ionising radiation, X-rays and gamma radiation. Radiation can be used both for diagnostic imaging in X-ray machines and CT scanners, or in much higher doses for therapy. Physicists ensure that the best possible balance is achieved so that diagnostic images give the highest quality information whilst minimising the radiation dose. In nuclear medicine, physicists likewise calculate the optimum amount of radioactive substance called a radionuclide that is injected into a patient to perform a scan that shows the function of different organs as the radionuclide is taken up. All major organ systems, including the heart, the brain and the lungs, can be imaged in 3D and fused with a CT scan to provide a comprehensive map of the body's anatomy and function. Radiotherapy physics deals with high therapeutic doses to destroy tumour cells. Physicists create com complex treatment plans to optimise the dose and run QA programmes to ensure that what is planned is what is delivered to the patient. Radiotherapy physicists are constantly involved in projects to develop and introduce new technology that improves cancer treatment. Here you can see surface guided radiotherapy treatment which is now used to position patients accurately without the use of skin tattoos. Many scientists are engineers. We have around 30 clinical engineers who support more than 20,000 medical devices across the Trust. This involves specification, procurement, commissioning new devices into use, maintenance and user training. Many devices now are digital and during 2020 clinical engineers have been working with IT colleagues to ensure that devices can talk to the Trust network, 
sending data and results into the electronic patient record. We now have more than 200 patient monitors, maternity and anaesthetic machines that send data in this way. Working in healthcare science is a diverse and very rewarding career. We contribute specialist scientific and technological expertise and skills to a multidisciplinary team of medical professionals and sometimes directly to patients. Technology is now a huge part of healthcare and scientists and engineers help to harness the technology so that we can get the most benefit from it. We need more scientists and engineers in healthcare. Please follow the links below or visit our Facebook page if you want to find out more about becoming a healthcare scientist or engineer.